In identifying the, the Bartram sites in Putnam County, uh, there are a lot of them that you can nail down pretty well uh, within, uh, within a few hundred yards of, uh, of where you can expect the Bartrams probably actually set foot on shore. Um, some of them, you, you really, uh, you could be a mile off and, uh, and not really know it from, from the various writings. But um, there are a, a few sites in Putnam County where you can have uh, what I would call a true Bartram moment. And uh, Sam Carr and I had a true Bartram moment when we, uh, when we first arrived here. We had, had gone down, we were looking um, really for Willacca Spring. Uh, but in order to nail Wallaca Spring down, the location of Wallaca Spring as it existed in uh, John Bartram's journal, we had to find the springs that, that John Bartram crossed before he got to Wallaca Spring. We had um, read over his writings many times and really thought we had it pegged at Mud Spring. It fit the three to four mile hike from, from where we thought he went ashore uh, to where he uh, encountered the, uh, the flowing fountain. And um, so we were really kind of hoping that was it. So when we found this, it was, it was not what we expected. But as soon as we found this location, it became very apparent. And what I would uh, like to do is, is read the portion of this so you can, you can see why Sam and I had this very Bartram moment when we arrived here. It says here, and this is on, uh, in John Bartram's journal for the, uh, the 27th. Uh, they had come ashore at what he estimated to be uh, probably about a mile or so uh, north of here, and they had left the bateau there on the shoreline, and they had hiked up. Uh, they were hiking up towards uh, Johnson's Bluff. And it says here, We came down a steep hill, 20 foot high and about four or 500 yards from the river, under the foot of which issued out a large fountain big enough to turn a mill, of warm, clear water of a very offensive taste and smelt like bilge water or the washings of a gun barrel. The sediment that adhered to the trees fallen therein looked of a pale white or bluish cast like milk and mixed water. We then crossed the, the swamp and ascended and descended two hills and narrow swamps more. At the foot of the last issued out another warm spring of clear water like the other, but not so large. So as soon as Sam and I saw the hill and we walked down to the stream, uh, the, the, the run, uh, as you walk down you can start to see the sulfur bacteria that line the bottom there that give it that milky cast. And, and it wasn't too hard to, to discern that, that bilge water, that sulfur smell. That was probably the, the main characteristic. But that, that Bartram moment was when you read that account and you can look around and you can see exactly what he saw and then when you actually smell what he smelled. It really reinforces uh, reinforces this as the as the exact site of where he actually uh, where he actually visited. So, um, although you can visit a lot of other sites that are very uh, that are that are Bartram sites, official Bartram sites, in this one, if you walk around very much, you know that you have set foot in the exact footsteps of John and William Bartram, so because they they were right here.